Every day we are bombarded by environmental agents that damage our cells. Things like UV radiation and chemical exposure such as air pollution and cigarette smoke. Even the byproducts of metabolism, such as free radicals, can damage cells. These damaging agents can make changes to the DNA in our cells. DNA encodes the information needed to make proteins, which are the building blocks of our body. To keep two metres of DNA organised within the nucleus, it is wound around special structures called histones much like thread on a spool. Damage to DNA can include single strand breaks, double strand breaks, changes to the DNA code, DNA kinks, and DNA sticking together. It has been estimated that an individual cell can suffer up to one million DNA changes per day. Most of the time, our cells do a very good job of dealing with DNA damage. A special sentinel protein called P53 is recruited rapidly in response to DNA damage. P53 slides along the DNA until it finds a critical site. It then binds to this site. P53 then sends the message to halt cell division until DNA is repaired, or if damage is too severe, the cell is destroyed. P53 is therefore known as the guardian of the genome. But what happens if these defence mechanisms themselves are damaged? A tiny change in P53, shown here in bright blue, results in a protein that is unable to securely bind to DNA. This means that no decisions can be made about whether to repair DNA or destroy the cell. Without functional P53, over time, cells can accumulate more and more DNA damage. These damaged cells are more likely to grow and divide out of control, leading to formation of tumours. P53 alterations are present in more than half of all human cancers, collectively making them the most common event in the development of cancer.